What's up, this is Eric. Ben. You're watching BitCam. And how is the tour going so far? Uh, amazing. Uh, better than everything we expected. Like. We did it last year, but Parkway Drive was headlining, so like... In Europe, or...? Uh, yeah, in Europe, so like, to come back and not have Parkway, like, we knew it was going to be good, but we did not expect, expect it to do as good as last year, and like, the numbers are pretty similar, so like, super stoked. Where is the best place so far that you guys have played? Oh my God. Huh, and why? <laughs> it's hard to say. Yeah. Uh, like maybe I mean, the best show that you guys thought was like amazing. Well, yesterday was our first time in Prague, and I gotta say it was, it was quite amazing. quite good. Uh, the crowd reaction was uh, was really sweet. Uh, maybe they don't get that many shows over there, so they were pretty stoked on having uh, such a big lineup, seven bands. But uh, yeah, it was fun and. Uh, but as always, Germany and uh, the UK is, is good, you know. Belgium so. is probably going to be uh, amazing. As yeah, well. last year with Belgium was one of the best shows, and this year uh, we end the tour in Belgium, so we'll see. Yeah. Did you guys have any bad shows? Um, Not bad, but maybe where things didn't go right, or you just didn't really feel it that well. Lots of bad. Well. Fuck up happens sometimes, you know, like technical problems, stuff like that. But it's never a matter nothing, of uh, yeah, nothing major. Really, it, it, it's never about the city or the people at the show, you know. So we can't perform uh, awesome every night, I guess. Oh, no. <laughs> Summer. Idols that that made you guys want to do this kind of music. Oh my god! Well, I mean, it, it all started out with like the the, the classics, I guess, like uh, Metallica, Pantera, Iron Maiden, and all that. And then we discovered, you know, the, the the more brutal stuff, and the more brutal it would get, the more interesting it was to me as a kid, because I was, you know, discovering it. But I guess bands like. Uh, Cannibal Corpse or uh, DSI, DSI suffocation. suffocation, the old stuff. Yeah, these are pretty much our influences, I'd say. Old just, classic death metal yeah, bands. Just brutal bands that you know pushed the envelope back then that made us want to play faster and more aggressive stuff, and you know just have fun doing it. <laughs> so um, you guys have a new album out called Day of the Morning. I think it was recently released. Uh, yeah, uh, like two months ago. Yeah. Do you guys want to tell us about it a bit, like maybe the motive behind the name, or? I mean. uh, well, the the name of the album came after a song Alex wrote. Uh, so I guess the the whole theme is pretty much uh, uh, revolving around the the lyrics of the songs. So probably Steve and Alex could tell a little bit more about it. But um, I know it's uh, they usually write uh, about. Um, uh, what's going on in their lives and stuff like that, personal stuff. Uh, but musically, uh, it's the first album with uh, Ben uh, writing uh, songs on the album. He wrote a full song and uh, it's pretty damn good. Song? Yeah, mostly. I mean, the, the main writers are uh, Grind, our drummer, Alex, and me. But uh, we're always open to have like ideas from other band members. So this time, Ben as a new member and Max contributed to uh, uh, a couple songs, and uh, it's it's good. It's, it's great. <laughs> uh, I also noticed on the new albums there's not really many pig spiels anymore. Why did you guys decide to leave that out? <laughs> this I time on this it, album, it, it just got to a point where like the thing was you know becoming too trendy for us, like. We, I don't think like we ever did something because it was the cool thing to do because everybody else was doing it. So just the fact that like so many kids that did not know where 
it was coming from or like you know they were just like oh this MySpace band does it we're gonna do it and our band's gonna do well you know just like the whole principle of like doing it to kind of like you know get kids to listen to your band was something we weren't you know too cool about and yeah. I think S Steve Steve was pretty tired of getting you know associated with only that like you know oh you're the guy that does the breeze like it's a little shitty like he's, he's a good singer and I think he, he was just you know tired of being associated with only that and his voice changed too I yeah. mean he, he was not into doing that as much um, uh, live he was not doing it the same way either so I think he wanted to have more like a, a he wanted to sound more like he he sounds when he plays live on the album so yeah, that's it. You guys write your lyrics um, in English and in another language, right? In yeah, French. Uh, French. In French yeah. Do you think um, the majority of the audience even looks at the lyrics or understands them, or do you think they just kind of come to hear the uh, breakdown and to mosh? I think most most people won't really pay attention. Yeah, pay attention or like you know make the effort of, of trying to translate the lyrics or anything. But it's not the reason why like we used French is just because we're French Canadians and since we're not you know home a lot and we don't get to see our families and our friends and all that and it's where you know everything started we just wanted to remind people back home that like we didn't forget them we're not like rock stars or anything because we're not home a lot like it's just a little reminder of like hey we know where we're from we're proud of it and you know yeah because uh, on our first album half of the songs were written in French think anyone noticed that? Uh, back then, I don't. I, I can say, but like after that, we wanted to try to break like more internationally. So we started to write in English, just in English. But now, that I guess we pretty much uh, we we've reached a point where we're known as a metal band pretty much everywhere. We decided to go back to our roots and just write a few songs in French again. <laughs> So I have one last question. Um, when did, what, at what age did you guys start playing an instrument? I uh, started at 14. Yeah. Guitar at 14. Um, yeah, same, same thing for me. I was like 12 or 13. So, uh, yeah, uh, Black, Metallica's Black Album came out and I, I wanted to play the song, so this was when I decided to learn guitar. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys for the interview. The thank last, you. The last word to the audience goes to you guys, so. Okay. Uh, well, I don't know. Come to our shows, please. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> thanks for uh, supporting us and coming to the shows and, you know, leaving us replies about, like, Whatever you like or you hate, we, we love the haters as well, so keep us going. <laughs> Someday we'll win <laughs> <laughs>